Right, so once again, this is a very, should be a very well-known thing in South Africa, little UPS. Um, if you've got any friends in the IT business, you'll know that, or in the computer repair business, these things pile up um, because the moment they stop working, people throw them away and they replace them, they're cheap enough, especially in offices and that um, sort of corporate environments go through a lot of these. Um, so they are quite easy to get hold of uh, if, you, if you know anybody in the, in the computer industry. And normally the only problem with them is the battery is flat. Uh, but they've got very low capacity batteries, um, 7 amp hours. It's very weak. It's enough to power a small little router for duration of a load shed, but it's not a major um, powerhouse. Um, but this is an interesting little modification that one, one can make to make these things a bit more versatile. Basically, you extend the battery terminal. The battery would normally sit in there. You take that old battery out, and you connect some clips to the old battery terminals. Take out this, uh, there's a circuit in there that's got to do with uh, networking and etc. I'll just take it out and put it in a bag and chuck it in there. Uh, it gives you a port through which the cables can go. Uh, and then this becomes a little inverter that you can plug onto anything, any car battery or in, um, um, deep cycle battery or whatever, auxiliary battery that might be lying around or whatever, it just makes it slightly more versatile. Um, there is, however, an issue with um, charging. It's a very weak charger built into this, so if you do have it connected to a bigger battery, um, expect that it will take a long time to charge that up. It does struggle. It's designed for a much smaller battery. But it does do it, and um, yeah, it actually, it actually works quite well. I've been using this little thing for many, many months now, connected to whatever battery, uh, external battery I've had. To power, a, it's, I mean, it's a very small little load. It's just a wire, wireless e e extender. Um, but um, at the price of what you can get these for free, if you know people in the industry, they normally just give them away. Um, we can buy them secondhand or whatever. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than buying new and also... Um, some of the new modern little lithium-ion UPSs are going for about a thousand rand, eight hundred and fifty to a thousand rand. Whereas this, if if it's a battery that it needs, two hundred and fifty bucks to replace. And if it doesn't, if you don't have a battery but you've got externals that won't fit, then you just put these clips on, and boom, your little jobby will work. And don't forget to deactivate the the buzzer. Rip this thing right off. It's the most annoying thing in the world. You just break it off. I see I've already disconnected it. Just uh, deactivate it one way or another. Break the soldering joint, rip it off with pliers or whatever. It's, it's pretty easy to do. And then you won't get that annoying beep, 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 beep. Yeah, so that's that little UPS, cheap UPS hack. Right, so I've connected it up to the big battery. Going straight through to here. No batteries in here. Turn it on. Turn it on, there we go, click, it's working. Unplug the back, simulate a load shed, boop, onto battery mode, and it will last a long time uh, with a bigger battery. So it's just a little, nice little backup to have, nice little backup system.